delicious moose bait drops. Are you looking for a quick and easy holiday treat that's ready in 10 minutes, requires no cooking and no baking? and no special appliances. Well, have I got one for you. All it requires is a little chopping. You can either use a knife, a blender, but no special appliances required. For this recipe, almonds work best, but you can substitute it with walnuts, cashews, or even pecans. Next, I add in some pumpkin seeds, which gives it a great crunch, and of course, Rice Krispie cereal. Time to break up some amazing dark chocolate. If you like it a little bit sweeter, then use a little bit of milk chocolate and or white chocolate. Break your chocolate up into little pieces and put it into a glass bowl. It's gonna go straight into the microwave. You can chop it as well instead. Once it goes into the microwave, set it for 30 seconds. If it's a little bit hot, make sure you use an oven mitt to pull it out of the microwave. In the meantime, you can mix up all your dry ingredients, the Rice Krispies, the nuts, the pumpkin seeds, and whatever else you'd like to put in there. Now this is super important. Once it comes out of the microwave, take the time to stir it for a good minute to a minute and a half, put it back into the microwave for another 30 to 40 seconds, and you're gonna mix it again for another two to three minutes. It might look like it's not melting initially, but give it a hot second. Keep stirring and look what it turns into. It literally melts right in front of your eyes. Now it's at the perfect consistency. It's time to drizzle this milk chocolate, dark chocolate, white chocolate, whatever chocolate you've used, melted chocolate right into your dry ingredients. Don't worry too much about where it lands because we're gonna mix it right all up. Using nothing more than a fork or a spoon, start mixing it all together until just about every piece of ingredient in there is coated with a light coating of the chocolate. Because the chocolate's still kind of melted, it won't really stick all together. Put it on a lined baking sheet that has either parchment paper or a silicone pad and just let it rest for a good hour. If not, put it in the freezer for 10 minutes. And then you have these amazing mousse bites. They travel so well and they're so easy to make. I hope you subscribe for more great recipes.